Hey guys, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use your speed light with your large rogue flash bender. So we have our speed light here, and we have our large rogue flash bender here. Take note that in your kit, you're going to have two different types of these. You're going to have the large one and the extra large one, and they're both functioning almost the exact same way. So you're going to take your speed light, make sure that the red little infrared looking piece is turned away from you, and that it bends outward. And then you place it on the large uh, flash bender, like so. Make sure that when you're putting it on, that the red piece is towards you. Wrap around the Velcro piece like so, depending on what you're trying to do. You can either snoot it like this, or you can loosen it and put on your diffusion panel with the Velcro sides. Tighten up the Velcro like so. Again, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you capture all the light in here and tighten up all the sides and make sure the Velcro is on there perfectly. And then at the top, there's another piece of Velcro and you just attach that. Hey guys, now we're gonna talk about the stand we have here. So these can be a little bit confusing, but they're very simple. When you have it here, you wanna loosen it a little bit at the bottom, loosen the top, and then simply push down, like so. Careful to have these parallel to the ground. It shouldn't, you shouldn't need to go any further. Then you'd simply tighten it right here and then you can raise and lower it to whatever height you need by loosening and tightening these little tabs at the top. Now we're going to talk about how to attach the foot to your speed light. So if you look in your case where your speed light was, you'll see this little pocket and it has a foot, a stabilizer foot that you can put onto your speed light. You attach it. Now the important thing to know here is that the long part of the foot should always be where the white part of the flash bender is. And then all you have to do is just tighten it up real tight and then screw it on to your stand. After you've synced your trigger with your flash, you attach your trigger to your camera, make sure it's tightened properly, and then you want to position your light source. So for this particular shot, we're trying to create a triangle between you with the camera, the subject, and the light. Position it so where the light is just slightly above her eye line to get the optimum lighting. Make sure you have that triangle. Happy shooting.